Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome. Hello, Miss Eureka. How are you today? Happy Wednesday, everybody. You know, we made it to halfway through the week. So I'm just starting to cut a few things here. Hi, Miss Vicki. Hello. Welcome everybody. We'll give everybody a couple minutes to get hopped on. Hope everybody has had a fabulous day today. Tonight we're going to be working on a 30 inch swag. We actually did one the other night, but we're going to go step by step tonight on how to do the swag. So hopefully everybody will be able to create one or at least have the video to do one when you get on your own. So hello, hello Miss Regina, Miss Tracy, Miss Linda, Miss Maggie, Miss Vicki, hello. Miss Beverly, Miss Lawanda, Miss Myra, good evening. Miss Maggie, Miss Vicki, Miss Rita, hello everybody. Okay, where did you pick the swag up? Miss Maggie, I these swags I had actually got in Canton. Now you can get these 30 inch pine swags through um, uh, craftoutlet.com. So I'll put that on the comments too so y'all can pick those up as you need to. Hi, Miss Cynthia. Hello, Miss Crystal. Welcome everybody. Hi, Kim. Happy, happy Wednesday. I always have to remember what day it is, y'all. Everything just kind of runs together. So I want to show y'all why everybody's still hopping on y'all. Last night when we were on the um, our live, um, I had showed y'all some little wood pieces that I had gotten. They were just the little round circles. Look at these cute little pumpkins I made. So I just took the round, painted them, used a little cork, put up at the top, put some little leaves and some little raffia on there. And... Miss Cindy, I think that you just click down at the bottom and it says something about stars. I'm not sure. But Miss Cindy actually ordered some of these, but look how sweet they are. Y'all can paint them different colors. They're thin little pieces. These actually came, the wood squares came from um, Hobby Lobby and then I just painted them. Y'all excuse my hands. We did the kids tie dye shirts right before we hopped on live. So everybody was out doing tie dye. I'll post pictures later. They had so much fun. Because I was the only one that had went to the farm, so they didn't get to make their tie-dye shirts, so they did them tonight. So, yeah, they turned out so cute, Miss Pam. So, that would be a good kids' class, too, just to get them. I'm going to actually, when I go to the ranch the next time, I'm going to get some bigger rounds, and I'm going to saw them off so they'll actually sit up. And um, I'm going to make some bigger pumpkins, so those are to come later. So, hello, Miss Heidi, Miss Deb, Miss Pam, Miss Lucille. Welcome, everybody. So why everybody's hopping on y'all, y'all can go ahead and start cutting your 10 inch mesh. For this class tonight, you need a 30 inch uh, pine swag or a swag of some sort. Um, craft outlet has gone, yes, they have all gone up. Everything has gone up everywhere, y'all, just to let y'all know that um, even prices from one week to the next at Hobby Lobby, the round, um, not Hobby Lobby, but at Michael's, my actual green pine forms that I use for my mesh race, those are usually like $7.99 at Hobby Lobby. They're now, no, they're $6.99 at Michael's. Now they're $8.99. So everything has gone up. If you have the extra to stock up on some of the stuff that you normally will use, now is a great time before everything even jacks up more. So just trying to save everybody a little bit of money because that's very important right now, especially as a crafter. All right, guys, so for this swag tonight, I'm gonna use three different kinds of mesh. I've got a green and white, or green and tan, and I've got a gray, white, and tan, and then I've got just a white and tan. Now, these are just ends of rolls that I'm gonna put all the colors together. So I'm, this may have like two or three pieces on it, this may have about five, and this probably's got like eight or so on it. But I'm just gonna cut the rest of this and use this on the sweat because my colors tonight are the cream sunflowers. These cream flowers we're gonna mix in and then we're gonna put some beautiful white washed pumpkins, okay? And then I've got some other greenery that I'm gonna add. So the first thing you need to do is take and cut your actual mesh. I want you to cut 12 inches down 
12 inch cuts of your 10 inch mesh. So while everybody's hopping on still, y'all can go ahead and do that. If you get it a little off, a little over, it's okay. You just want a good, at least 10 to 12 inch roll. All right, so you're just gonna be cutting that. There's Charlie Moss coming in. The kids are all here tonight. Chad and Emily aren't there trying to get their stuff still put together for their fundraiser. I'm going up there tomorrow night, so tomorrow night I will not be live unless it's extremely late, maybe 10 or so at the best I can do, but we're going up and stuffing um, the little gift bags for everybody that comes to the um, their kickoff or their fundraiser Saturday for the golf tournament. Yes. So hopefully y'all got to get on today and see the cute little um, golf balls that I made. They're just little scentsies that they're car freshies is what they call them. They're made out of the little beads. You sent them and I made little golf balls and I put little grass in the packages and I wrapped them individually. And so tonight when I get off live y'all, I still have more of those to make. So busy, 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 busy. All right, so I cut some of these. Now I'm gonna cut my other two colors because I'm gonna mix and match those in the actual frame. Um, it's okay, Miss Myra, I'm sorry. If you can't get on or you get glitched out, no worries, I'll post this live after we get through here, okay? So you'll get to see it or can watch it shortly. We did have an announcement too today that we were informed that um, the wreath stands, if you've already gotten yours or you've already placed your order, they're gonna finish those orders, but they're not gonna make any more after that. So um, as of right now, they're, we're not, they're not taking any more wreath stand orders. So, but if y'all are interested in a stand like that, they do have them on Amazon. That is where Charlie actually got my first original one. Um, it's not as tall, but it will do the job, okay? All right, this is going to have this brown and tan. It's not going to just have but two little pieces, but that's okay because we're going to mix and match it in there. Sorry, y'all, I hit the... All right, so I'm going to turn y'all just a little bit. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Michelle. Miss Cottle, welcome. Brittany, hello. So the first thing you want to do is decide how the colors you want to mix in here. So I'm just going to take, because I have the majority of the green and tan, I'm gonna put the green and tan as my base and then I'm gonna come back in with the other colors and mix and match that in here. So I'm just gonna take my green cuts and you're just gonna roll them. Okay, so just roll them, squish them in the center and use these pines to actually twist tie that. Let's do it this way. It's gonna be better. Let's do the butterfly effect on here, y'all. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna roll this either end and then you're gonna squish it in the middle. This flares it out a little bit and it's gonna cover more area. This, then you're gonna take your twine, your pieces here and tie it in. Just as if you were tying these on for your mesh wreath, okay? All right, Miss Myra. Oh, thank you, Miss Maggie. Yes, y'all, I always forget that. So the YouTube channel is up, it is growing, it's very slow. Miss Maggie has been so generous to copy and paste my um, YouTube channel in there. Y'all are welcome to go to that. Subscribe to the channel and y'all can follow um, that as well. It's easier to get to the videos. They're all labeled so that you can grab whatever it is that you're actually looking for to be able to, um, to follow up and do some classes. So now all you're doing is taking your mesh rolling it on either end, coming, crinkle it in, in the center, and you're just gonna work your way down this wreath, this, this actual pine swag. It doesn't matter where you actually tie them into because you want pieces on either side. You just want to fill in all the way down, okay? So I'm gonna put some on both sides, but I'm just going down this side at first. Good evening, Miss Cheryl, Miss Patty, Miss Cynthia, thank you, Miss Dolores. So Miss Crystal, I'm, the wreath stands, um, I'm not sure how much they were, 
but they're not accepting any more orders. Now, if you're wanting one off of Amazon, I'm thinking it was around um, 60 to $79. And they're on Amazon, just look up Reese Stands. So when you roll these, and I'll show you guys, you don't want it uneven to where one side sticks out. So you want it, if that happens, you want to take it off and roll it even so that you have no material sticking out on the ends. So then that looks better. And if it does, then you can definitely come down here, pull just a little bit to make it even. And then I've got a little straggler string there and you're just gonna cut that off. Okay, so now I'll go on this side. Yay! And put some on this side. So we want some on both sides, working our way down for our base color. Then we're gonna come back and add extra on top. We're going on a go-kart ride. All right, y'all have fun. Um, do all know how to go so they're going on a golf cart ride. That's what I was just informed of. Justin and Savannah live close enough to us that they can ride their golf cart over here because the neighborhoods are kind of connected so they can ride their golf cart over and so they want to all go for a ride. They like to go down and feed the ducks at the pond in our addition. So I'm gonna come over here to this side and just add it across. It doesn't have to be even because you're gonna go back in and you're gonna add a whole bunch of extra stuff on here. So you're just gonna sporadically step, put them down your actual swag. I'm gonna take this and lift this up just a little bit. Let's see if that's not too high there. Okay, let's see if that works better. So I'm just gonna use all my green on here first. So for those of y'all are coming on, I'm Bobby. I'm with Blessings with a Bow. I'm out of League City, Texas. I welcome each and every one of y'all to our page. Be sure that if you have not to like our page and share it with your friends, tag your friends. Y'all, I have classes several times a month. All the classes are free. So be sure to watch under the event page. I am going to finish that. Thank you, Miss Lisa. Um, yes. So you take it and you roll it in on the sides, then you just crinkle it in in the center. And that's what I call the butterfly effect. Now you can see how that popped out there a little bit. So I'm gonna come on this side and just give it a little tug. And then that tucks it back in so it's even on both ends, okay? But um, be sure to subscribe or like our page, share it with your friends. All the classes are free, so don't ever hesitate to um, hello, Miss Joanna. To hop on, ask questions. My cell phone is on my Facebook page. Y'all are welcome to ask me any questions that y'all like. If you have questions about ribbon, where to get something, where this came from, where that came from, just shoot me a text. I'll um, respond to you as fast as I can. Well, Miss Marion, welcome to our little group. You'll love this group of people. They are so sweet and so fun and friendly and very supportive so we have a great group of people on here also for all my newbies i want to say welcome and also if there's ever anything that i can do for y'all or pray for y'all for for your family please do not ever hesitate to message me um, I keep a book with me at all times with all my prayer requests. There's a lot in there, y'all. So just keep praying for our group and their families. That'll just cover everything. Uh, oh, thank you, Miss Linda. I wouldn't be doing what God wanted me to if I didn't offer, you know. So we are all in this life together, and that's what we're here for. People go through rough times, and that's just life. And we are here to help each other. So don't ever feel like you're in something alone, y'all, because the battles are great, but we serve a great God and he's going to get us through it, okay? So just to let y'all know that. So hello, hello. Hi, Miss Regina, Miss Gloria. Good evening, everybody. So I'm going to come down here because I definitely want my base color at least right on the very tip down here. 
And I'm just gonna take that and twist it in at the bottom. And I'm gonna come back with other ribbons and stuff. So we're just gonna keep working our mesh in here. So this gives us a good base cover of our pine swag, okay? So now I'm gonna come back in. I've got four, three pieces of the tan and then two pieces of, um, with the gray and the white and the tan and then two pieces of the brown. So that gives me five extra little pieces. I'm just gonna come up here and work them in. It doesn't matter where, but because I have the, the I'm gonna put the gray both sides and then the tan at least one on either side. So Miss Karen, there's probably 12 pieces of the green and white, three of the gray, the tan, white, and gray, and then um, I've got two of the brown. So probably roughly about 20, um, about 20 pieces all together. Oh, thank you guys. Thank y'all so much. So I'm just gonna come up here, come up to another place where I don't have any of these ties, get into my base and tie this in. So this is one thing that you really have to pay attention to because there's no need of you wiring extra wires or zip ties on here at this point. Let your base use it for you. And um, so Miss Sharon, these colors, all of this mesh, um, the green and the tan and the brown and the white came from Hobby Lobby. This variegated one I got at um, Joann's Fabrics through the summer. So I just pick up mesh every time I'm out and about, I see who's got what, and then I just pick it up. So even like at the end of holiday seasons and stuff, like all your reds, your greens, anything with a tinge of this or a tinge of that, pick it up y'all. Y'all can use it into other wreaths. It doesn't have to just be for that holiday. So that's a good way to help add to your stock without costing you a ton of money. Thank you, Miss Mar Marianne. The colors are gonna be really pretty with these cream colored flowers. And then the pumpkins, the light colors, it's gonna be a whitewash. It's gonna be so pretty. Very, very pretty. So now I'm gonna come up here with the browns, add them in here. And then one on the other side, okay? Thank y'all so much for all the hearts and the stars. Thank y'all. And I'm gonna put another one up here in this corner, okay? So now you can see that there's still a lot of greenery showing. Say hi, Savannah. <laughs> hi, Savannah. Ah, silly girl. Nobody wants to ever get on camera, y'all. That's just crazy. Right. <laughs> as she runs out of here, right? Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place my pumpkins. Now, the one that we did the other day, the fall one that Miss Cindy grabbed, I actually had a long fall pick. So I put that right in the center of this. You can do that as well. If you have a long pick, kind of move your mesh aside and put it right down the center using these ties to tie it into, okay? And then you're gonna cover it with the other stuff on top so that you're not gonna be able to see any of this. I mean, all the ties and the picks and all that. So I wanna put one of these beautiful pumpkins up here at the top. And then I'm gonna put the other one down here on this bottom corner. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stick it through. There's a hole right there that I've already tied one of the mesh pieces through. So I'm gonna take it and stick it down in here and I'm gonna tie this really tight around here to make sure that it's good and tight. Okay, now I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna tack that with some hot glue right there to make sure that it adheres. Now when you're gluing this stuff, you want to make sure that you glue it to the actual stem onto the greenery. If you tie it to the mesh, it's gonna melt your mesh. 
So make sure that you guys get it into the actual green part. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna put some hot glue right around that stem where I tied it in and then that'll be enough to hold it. So now I'm gonna go do the other one the same. Now these large pumpkin picks, y'all, came from Hobby Lobby. I love them for the simple fact that they have the raffia already on there, they've got the big beautiful full leaves and they've got your pumpkin and there's a nice stem that you can actually attach it to. So I'm gonna come up here and this pumpkin, I'm actually gonna run up the other way in this corner over here. So because this stem is so long, I'm gonna tie this one into two places. But now watch, this, this pumpkin's looking really down. So I want to be able to see it better. So I'm gonna take this stem and I'm gonna give it a little bend because I want that pumpkin up where I can see it. Okay, so make those wires work for you. Now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna tie this in again. And I'm gonna take this stem and I'm gonna bend it over. When you create a hook like that, it'll hook onto that greenery to where this is not gonna fall out. But I'm still gonna hot glue this right here. Just running some hot glue around the stem onto that the green pine needles, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add some ribbons, okay? So for the ribbons that I've picked out tonight, I have this brown and this striped with the white, and then I've got the white pumpkins. Look how pretty that's gonna be. So I'm gonna go a one and a half, one and a half, the pumpkin, then this, and then I'm gonna finish off and put the pumpkin on the end. But just to add little pieces of ribbon throughout the arrangement, I'm gonna use the, the big, the two and a half inch ribbons. Okay, and now for these, I'm gonna cut the pieces about 12 inches. So you have 12 inch cuts. You're gonna crinkle it in and then you're gonna take it and you're gonna bend it over. So you wanna make that to, into a V, okay? So then I'm gonna actually wire it in to the piece like this. So I'm gonna put two pieces up top. Once you get them wired in, then you can kind of pull them to the side so you're able to see all of your colors there. So I'm gonna cut a couple more pieces. Emily got this ribbon at Craft Text, this pumpkin ribbon, a week or so ago. And I'm gonna have to run and go get her some more because I've just about used it, quite a bit of it. She's gonna get me. But she goes, can you just make me a wreath? I'm like, I sure can. So then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put one on the other side. It doesn't have to be directly across because you're gonna fill this in with a lot of other stuff. It can be staggered just a little bit. And then once you get them in place, you wanna kind of fluff it up a little bit, make sure the bends are right. Always make sure your tails are good. If you wanna V them, you can V them. If you wanna diagonal them, you can diagonal them. However you wanna do it, just make sure that they're equal. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another piece of this right down here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna cut some of the tan and white striped and come back and just put some of that. Hello, Miss June, Miss Janice, Miss Teresa, Miss Diane. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Now y'all, if I miss your comments, please do not feel like I didn't see you. I might not have seen you right this second, but I always do go back at the end and read everybody's comments so that all your questions get answered. So don't feel like you're alone in this, okay? Because I'm gonna catch you. It just may not be right here on the second. I try to watch it as much as I can, 
but sometimes I get a little carried away with my creations. All right, now I'm gonna come back and add some of this in here. And what I'm gonna do is, because I'm not gonna back it with a two and a half inch ribbon, I'm just gonna cut two pieces of the ribbon, okay? And then I'm just gonna put two pieces in together, crinkle them in, V it up, and then I'm gonna put a few of these in there. Now I wanna save enough because I'm gonna put a big beautiful bow at the top of this. So I always make sure that if you're running towards the end of your roll, that you have enough to do your top bow with. So I'm just cutting that at an angle when I cut it, coming in the center, V in it. Hi, Miss Debbie. Me too, Miss Maggie. It could go with anything, any kind of theme, you know? I like the traditional fall colors, but I really love the whitewash too. So if you've kind of used where you want to put it, your actual ties, it's okay to go to another, go a little bit deeper into your swag and grab those ties. Now, if you've used them all up and you really have no other place to add anything, then you can start using your pipe cleaners and actually tie them into there. Let me do two things real quick. Here is my cell phone number in case y'all need to send questions, prayer requests, or you just want to say hi. That is my personal cell phone number. Please feel free to message me if you ever need anything um, or have any questions about anything. And then I want to also put in here my Etsy page if you all have any questions or, in, or looking for any designs. I do accept custom orders. I want to put that in here as well. It's blessings with bows at Etsy.com. Sorry, y'all, just a second. Okay, blessings with bows at Etsy.com. So there's that, okay? So now I'm gonna put the tan and white striped, I'm gonna put two on this side, and then we're gonna start adding our beautiful flowers in. So let me cut four more pieces here, and then we'll put our flowers and then we'll come back and finish it off with our bow. Oh, thank you, Miss Lynn, thank you. I love the neutral colors, for sure. So my sister-in-law texted me today. She said, you need to take everybody on a tour of your house when you get your fall stuff up. And I said, you know what, that's such a cool idea. Maybe I will. Y'all will see us making different things on here. We're gonna switch out a couple of trees this year, so it's gonna be so much fun. Fall is actually my favorite time of year. There's so much fun and happiness. You know, once the holidays start coming, y'all, most, most people actually find joy in all the decorations. So it's just a fun, happy time. And especially when you have the chance to create for people, that even makes it even cooler. All right, so I'm just coming down here, adding some tails there, and I'm gonna come down here and add some right off to this corner. Thank you, Miss Myra. Hey, Miss Pam. So I'm gonna come down here in this corner and add one more little V down here. And you can add as much or at the least amount that you want. I know, I thought that was such a cool idea. She goes, you know, when I get ready to start decorating for holidays, she said, I actually go to Pinterest and I watch tours or, you know, wherever on Facebook or wherever. And she said, I really enjoy that. She said, you should do that. And I'm like, what a great idea. So we're, I'm going to work on that for y'all. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to cut some of these beautiful flowers. We're going to use some of these. These flowers I actually got. This bunch came from Michael's. And... The other bunch of flowers that I got came from Hobby Lobby. 
So I have three left of these beautiful full flowers and I'm gonna use all three of them. Now, one thing you gotta remember y'all is when you're doing these, you wanna make sure that you're cutting your stems close enough that they're not gonna poke through the back of your actual piece. So, I'm cutting them a little short so that I can kind of put them down at an angle, but where they're not gonna stick through the back of my wreath. Now, look at this. You see all these little full flowers? We can cut those off and we can use those as well. Now, I had told y'all before that if you're using your stems and you have leftover stems, that y'all could save these and actually tie, or to give, say you wanted to put this pumpkin on there. Okay, and your stem was too short. You could take it and you could wire it onto a bigger piece and use these. But you don't want to use these big thick ones because they're not going to stick into your styrofoam very good or because they are so thick it can actually tear your styrofoam. So you want the thinner little wires like these. They work perfect to add height to your flowers if you need them. Okay? Just that's one of y'all's little pearls for the night. Okay? So now I'm going to go in here. Now when I start doing my flowers, I do not glue them. Oh, how cool, Miss Kim. Well, happy anniversary coming up. And um, me and Charlie just celebrated 31 years yesterday. So it is um, been through a lot, y'all. telling you, marriage is not easy, but it is a blessing to be able to um, share all the adventures. Let me just put it that way. So I'm going to put some up here to the top. And I'm not going to glue these in yet because I want to make sure where I'm putting everything before I actually put the glue on there. So I'm just going to stick these in at first and kind of see what I've got. And then I'll know how much extra I need to add. So I'm going to spread that out a little bit. Then I'm going to come back and start putting these smaller little flowers in here. I don't want to put too much right up top because this is where our big, beautiful bow is going to go. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Pam. Thank you. Y'all, we both had to work, so we <laughs> we both were very busy yesterday. It's um, Charlie's full week this week, and but then, y'all, next week, we're, we are going to take some time before school starts back with our grandbaby and kids, and we're going to take them camping for a few days. So next week, I'll be hopping on just to say hi to everybody, but um, we probably won't have another class after probably Friday night until the following Friday. So I'll be just hopping on to say hi, but um, not be teaching too much during that time. So I'm gonna come back here and add some more of these little flowers. Now I'm gonna stop right there because I don't wanna fill it up too much because I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna add some of this. Look how soft this is. It's so cute and so fun. Miss Myra, these pumpkins came from Hobby Lobby. They actually had a good selection of them, but, um, so these pumpkins came from Hobby Lobby. Now I got some of those goldy look, looking ones that I had the other day for the swag, actually was um, from um, Craft Text. I found those up at Craft Text. So I want to show y'all, thank you so much, Miss Pam. I want to show y'all when you're cutting a long stem like this, because you don't want this sticking out at the top. So I'm going to come down and you want to cut in the segment. Okay, so you're going to leave just a little bit of wire there. You're going to cut that and then you're going to take this wire and you're going to bend it over just a little bit. That prevents that next section, that next section of your stem from popping up off of there. Okay, so that's just a little trick. So then I'm gonna stick some of this throughout here and it's gonna soften it up some. Once again, I've not glued any of this down. 
I want to make sure what I've got first before I go back in and start gluing the flowers. So I always do the ribbons, and sometimes I'll do the ribbons actually last, but I did them first this time. And then I'm going to cut a few more sections of this off. Bend that top off there. Hi, Miss Sheila. Miss Patricia. Miss Kathy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Blessings with the Bow. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. And just cutting this off again. Then we'll put a couple little pieces down here at the bottom, draping down. I don't think they're going to hold down here. But we're going to put one right in the center, and they'll we'll probably put this one up top. Then we're going to do our bows. So now before I do anything else, I'm going to start gluing these flowers in. Okay? So once I've got it basically the way that I want it, now I can go in and pull a flower at a time out, hot glue your stem, stick it into the green pine so that it actually takes. Well, Miss Miss Kathy, you just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make you one. I did one the other night. It was actually a tobacco basket and Miss um, Cindy got it for a table decoration. She said, I want that for my table. And it was perfect. It was these colors. It had the pumpkins in it. It had the big, white, creamy sunflowers. It was beautiful. And it had the whitewashed pumpkin in there. So, um, the pumpkin ribbon. So, if you're, you need something like that, please just let me know. I put my cell phone number on there. Just get with me, and I'll be more than happy to make you one. So, I'm going to actually scoot this over because I've got this up here on this hook. And I do not want to glue this to my, my stand. Okay. And now I'm just taking the hot glue, working my way down, making sure we don't miss anything. This stem was actually a little long, so I'm going to cut that just a little bit. And I'm going to take that and bend that up. Then I'll come back and you don't want to glue your actual ribbon, so I move that out of the way. And then you just work your way down gluing in all of your greenery and your flowers. And you try really, really hard not to get burned. So always before, especially when I'm doing and teaching at the same time, sometimes I get carried away and I might miss one. So before I ever finish or put a project up on my wall until it sells, I go back and I check each piece to make sure that we've got this glue, we've got that glued. Then I take off all the little glue, you know, this hot glue, it just vines and gets out there everywhere all over your stuff so you have to like pick all those little pieces off I'm gonna cut that stem it's pretty long so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it is what okay oh to put the burlap the buffalo plaid and burlap and no pumpkins you can do whatever you want whatever you want just get with me on that cell phone number that I posted after the live and let me know exactly what you want. I'll confirm the colors with you. I'll send you pictures of the ribbons and then you can say yes or no. And then what I've been doing is putting the special orders in the actual Etsy shop 
under uh like your name and then you guys can go in and pay for them that way and then once they're paid for they get shipped i've got a christmas one i've got to finish a little truck christmas wreath that i've still got to finish trying to make sure all the orders are done also if you are in the Houston area and you guys need homecoming mums made that season is coming very quickly um, homecoming season here actually starts in September so be sure to um, let me know if there's something that y'all need for that oh thank you so much yes ma'am we will So I'm just coming up here on the side, gluing some of this greenery in. Then you can take and turn your tails around. Okay. And you'll constantly be pulling the strings off y'all. So even like before I get done, and when I take the pictures in the morning time before I ever list these things in my Etsy shop, I even in the morning time, I'm still pulling, pulling strings off. So I've kept this tie up here to tie my actual big bow in up at the top. We'll turn this down just a little bit because I do want my bow to be able to drape off the top of it. But look how beautiful that looks so far. And we don't even have the bow on there yet, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful colors. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one and a half inch ribbon for the center. And I'm gonna come back. Oh, I got one more little piece here. You always can find a place to put one more piece of greenery, y'all. Just saying. Glue it right there coming out from behind that flower. Okay. So I'm gonna take my one and a half inch ribbon and I'm gonna start with that. It's the brown and the white striped. And I'm gonna make my tails a little long. So probably about 10 inches or so. I'm gonna take it and you crinkle it in. So you crinkle in from the side, keeping your two ribbons facing you. Okay, so then you take it in and you make your loop however big you want your center. Take it and turn it a half a turn. You're gonna come up behind, crinkle it in, and turn it a half a turn. Now, because this is a bigger area, I'm gonna go ahead and do two loops on either side. Crinkle it in, turning it a half a turn. Let me turn this just a little bit there. Now, I'm gonna take this and I'm actually gonna cut this ribbon, cutting my other tail about the same length. Okay, now I'm gonna come back and I wanna put the pumpkin next. So I'm gonna come down, make my tail a little bit longer. This is a two and a half inch ribbon. I'm gonna come in, crinkle it, turn it a half a turn, come to the other side, crinkle it in, turn it a half a turn. I'm gonna come to the other side and do the same. Now I'm gonna cut my other tail. Now I'm gonna come back with my actual plaid. In fact, what I'm gonna do, because I want this a little bit bigger, but I don't wanna put two more layers of, I mean, do a whole nother section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back with the brown and the white, the tan and the white striped, and I'm gonna layer this in between. So once again, taking it, making that tail a little bit longer, come to the back, crinkle it in, turn it a half a turn, come up the other direction, and I'm gonna do two more loops on either side. And now I'm gonna cut this. Now y'all see me switching hands. I'm left-handed, so I have to cut with the opposite hand. 
If you're not left-handed, you could probably hold it all in the same hand and then cut it. And then I'm gonna come back with this cream and plaid and finish it off. Once again, taking my tails a little bit longer. And I'm gonna put two loops on either side. On either side. Now, you can do your bow as big as you want it. You can do it as small as you want it. Whatever you wanna do. I like my bows at the top very full. Y'all, this would have been so cute too to even bring the green into it. You could have put some, like the sage, the light sage with it. It would have been so pretty. When you get ready to tie your bow off, you wanna make sure that you're pushing down with your thumb and you're pulling up against this to get that tie as tight as you can against this ribbon. When you do that, that actually creates it a tight fit in there so that it's not gonna slide when you start pulling the loops. So then I make sure that all my tails are done correctly. If you V them, you want them all V'd. If they're angled, you want them all angled. So then here's our bow. It looks like a hot mess, right? So now watch. We're gonna take it and pull, pull our tails down, fluff these up. Now, if you have a bow maker, you definitely could have used the bow maker too to do that. They're back. So then we have this beautiful full bow that we're gonna attach to the top. And it didn't take no time, all right? So then I can take this and put up here to the top. And then you can pull your actual tails around however you want to. Let me move this down just a little bit so y'all can see. Got it wired on here, good y'all. So then I'm gonna come up here, take my beautiful bow right around the top where I have the notch up here, where you actually tie this on, or where your little hook is to attach it to either a wall hanging or on a, um, you could even use this for a centerpiece for a big long table. You could do that as well. And then just take off, take your uh, cutters and cut off your extra wire. Of course, I cannot find my cutters. I just had them. And then we'll cut this off. And I'll bend that over so that you don't see that in the back. Then you can take these tails and move them wherever you want to. Say bye, Danny. Bye. Bye, darling. Love y'all. Love too. So then you're going to fluff this up. I like to take some of the shorter tails and actually put them up to the top. Now, you don't have to do that. You could definitely leave them down if you wanted to. And then I'm going to cut the tails just a little bit. Okay, so then there we have our piece, y'all. So let me show you what it looks like as a whole. So see how pretty and full it is? You can turn it around however you want to cannot see that little flower there, so let me move that out of the way because I definitely want to see those flowers. But you can move your ribbons, cut your ribbons however you want to, but it's just so pretty and so full. And then you've got a beautiful swag. So this actually has not been claimed. It will go up in the Etsy page tomorrow. So for I said for tonight that we were going to do a um actual couple of giveaways. So what I have done is I've made some little 
old fashioned hot pads where you weave it in and out of the little loom. So I have two sets of those. So I'm actually gonna screenshot a few names and I'm gonna send those out to y'all. So if we pull your name, Bye. I'm gonna go through and write everybody's name down. Bye y'all. Bye. Bye baby. Bye. I'm gonna go through and write everybody's name down. I'm gonna have the kids pull about four names and I'm gonna send y'all a pair of those hot pads, okay? So if you were on tonight on the live and your name gets pulled, I'll send you a message, an instant message. You can send me your information. And I'll get those out in the mail to y'all tomorrow, okay? So thank you guys so much for being a part of this. We appreciate all y'all's efforts and sharing and liking and, and sharing with everybody. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Once again, if there's ever anything I can do for you guys, let me know. I'm going to offer the same special tonight as I did last night for the live because I did not have time to pull any wreaths for um, a discounted price. So $12.50 off anything in the Etsy shop. So you can go look if there's something that you want. Send me the picture to my text and then um, I'll readjust the price and then you can pay through there. Okay. So here's my number one more time. It's $12.50 off. Anything in there with the exception of the bows because a lot of them are not even $12.50. So let me type my number real quick. So $12.50 off anything in the Etsy page that's already listed. This one is not in there, but there are still a lot of stuff in there. So feel free to look around. This one will be posted in the morning. Those prices will be good through midnight tonight. So, Miss Teresa, this this swag is um, 98. So, it's 98 that's shipped in the United States. Okay? So, if you're looking for one, you can definitely let me know, and I'll get y'all hooked up with it. So, thank you guys again all so very much for being a part of my lives. I really enjoy y'all. I appreciate y'all for everything that y'all do. And we will see you back. Hopefully, I'll get to hop back on Friday night. I'm going to be cooking. Got 150 people to cook for for Saturday for the kids fundraiser. So, we're going to be cooking, but we're still going to have a great time. Y'all take care. And God bless y'all. Let me know what I can do to help y'all. Good night, everybody. Bye, y'all. This will be available after the live so that y'all can rewatch it if you missed it. Good night, everybody. Thank you guys again. Thank you. You guys are so welcome. My pleasure. Good night, everybody.